Breaking news, my dear, it's happening. Amechi breaks silence on losing to Tinubu at the APC primaries, reveals next step. Well, a lot of things have happened in the last couple of days and um, everybody is looking forward to see, you know, how things will play out. As we speak, the Vice President, Professor Yemi Osibanjo, has still not sent congratulatory messages to his former boss, uh, we're talking about the person of Ashiwaja made Bola Tinubu. Remember how he was humiliated when he entered, you know, the Eagle Square? As soon as he came in and, you know, guess what? It was people of his own household that were shouting, thief, uh, betrayer, go and return back the mandate. I mean, what mandate are you talking about? He did not even ask, he did not even ask, you know, uh, you know, Yemi Osibanjo. Yemi Osibanjo was the one uh, I mean, Tinubu was the one who nominated Osibanjo when he could not be the running mate to Buhari. He nominated Yemi uh, Osibanjo. Yemi Osibanjo has served and, um, you know, he, he wants to become president. Or apparently, the person who nominated him still wants to be president. And like they will say, the rest is history. Now we see all that is going on. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Breaking news. APC primaries. Amechi breaks silence after losing to Tinubu reveals next line of action. The former Minister of Transportation, Rotimi Amechi, has spoken for the first time since his defeat at the presidential primaries of the All Progressive Congress, APC. Bola Ahmed Tinubu, the national leader of APC and former governor of Lagos State, scored 1,271 1, to defeat his closest challenger, Rotimi Amechi, who pulled 316 in the nation's convention. Vice President Professor Yemi Osibanjo came third in the primaries, pulling 235. Senate President Hamed Lawa was fourth with 152. Why Kogi State Governor Yahaya Bello came in 47. Uh, with delegates with delegates vote amechi in a letter he personally signed said he looks forward to working with tinobu to ensure that the all progressive congress apc wins the 2023 presidential election the former river state governor also congratulates tinobu saying congratulations to you well deserved victory at the apc presidential convention and i trust I, I, I entrust that we'll work very well together. Best wishes as you prepare for the 2023 presidential election. I am confident your victory will real and energize the progress of our great party, APC, but trust on our vision of a common sense revolution, which leads to the which lead to the which will lead to the defeat of PDP as we did in 2015. As we embark on this historic journey, I wish you all the best. I assure you of my commitment to your success at the polls in 2023. I look forward to providing the necessary support to ensure that we develop the proposed country for all Nigerians. Congratulations once again. So he has sent congratulatory messages to Ashwajo Ahmed Bola Tinobu you know but guess what nobody okay nobody has uh congratulated nobody has gone ahead and as you know congratulated uh or uh or nobody has uh said you know how things went apart from yahaya bello who feels very discontented with the way things has gone he said you know what happened that in that very uh, whole thing there was misappropriations and things did not go well as planned. That indeed they were sharing money and, um, you know, he's a young man. More people would have voted for him if not for the deep pockets which came and did an undo. Okay, so this is what is happening right now. So this is what is going on. And Nigerians, we can see that everyone, you know, is particularly, uh, you know, uh, you know, worried for the vice president, Professor Yemi Osibanjo. Professor Yemi Osibanjo is, you know, is the man who also wanted to be president. Apparently, he was nominated to be the vice uh, presidential 
candidate to uh, you know Atiku Abubakar. And so all that has happened are clear indications of how far things have been. Many people expect that, you know, um, you know, mm -hmm. Professor Yemi Osibanjo and you know, would have stepped down for Tinubu. Him not stepping down for Tinubu has gone, you know, uh, has caused a lot of uh, people to speak, to say this and that and that and that. And so things have not really gone very well in those regards, in those lights. And, you know, it's looking like... You know, things are not the way you thought it should be. You know, so it is what it is, my wonderful people. It is what it is. The elections are, you know, standing, okay, you know, are standing right in front of us and we are almost there. It is about time we begin to um, ensure that the right candidates is picked. You and I must do everything, humanly speaking, possible to ensure that the right candidate is picked. If we don't pick the right candidate, we'll be surprised and shocked at how things will play out. Okay, so the time for us to really arise and pick the right candidate is now. The time for every one of us to ensure that, you know, um, the right candidate is picked is, I mean, for us to make sure of that is for us to go out and vote. Yes, vote, vote, vote. We cannot, uh, we cannot be quiet about that. We cannot say that enough. Every one of us have got a duty and that duty is for us to vote. So these are some of the things that are going on and these are some of the things that are happening. And it is about time we begin to rise up to the occasion and refuse Okay, to allow some people to determine, you know, uh, uh, you know, why, you know, what's going on, you know, and who, who becomes our leader. We must not allow this set of people to continue to pick and choose for us because they pick and choose their candidates who they feel should take over, you know, so that they can be the ones continuously ruling in charge and determining the affairs of the nation. So the best thing for us all to do is for us all to stand to the occasion, allow, you know, uh, ensure that we register, we have our voters card ready and we are ready to vote. If we don't do that, these people are going to take advantage of us again and again. And you don't want that. Trust me, you don't want that. I don't want that. We want to ensure that our vote counts. Okay, we want to ensure that our vote counts. So my wonderful people, these are some of the things that are happening Part of the large reasons why we must all rise up together and ensure, okay, that we stand up for what is right. Okay, so these are these are some of the things. Leave us a comment. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. God bless you. Have a fantastic and a lovely day. Bye for now.